Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. So, I just did my week ahead spread and it started getting warm again after I took my sweater off. Um, in case you were wondering. Uh, if I'm, why I didn't have the sweater on when I was doing back-to-back -back videos. But, I just thought this video needed to be done because I just got, um, so cards one, uh, Friday, I did a walkthrough the same day, and yesterday morning, oh, every time I get a new deck, I pull it in the morning, um, as a, just kind of a bonding experience for a couple weeks, um, usually maybe longer depending on how closely I've bonded with it, and, um, I had an experience yesterday that, blew my mind away and I wanted to share it with you guys um so yesterday morning I pulled this card from the soul cards one <laughs> now to me this card is all about um having a forked tongue um sharp words um it was almost like a warning of beware of other people's sharp tongue um, I kept hearing, um, I mean, the second I flipped it over, I kept hearing, um, I forgot what I put, um, I forgot now, uh, cause it's been a day, I've slept very little, but I've slept since then, um, it, it was to me all about be careful with your words because someone else's words are going to affect you, um, in a, in a profound way, and, um, it was all about be careful with your words, uh, forked tongue, um, devil, um, words. And I just thought this was odd because I'm a writer trying to make it as a writer, been trying to make it a write as a writer for about five years. Um, do have a couple of books on Amazon and I'm all about words, um, all the time. And I just thought, you know, my life is pretty good right now. I don't expect, I'm not going anywhere today. I don't expect anyone to have sharp words with me or fork tongue or tell me lies. And as my ritual every morning, I posted it on Facebook and Instagram. Um, just because it's my way of, and I have my own group on there as well. But it's my way of sharing my thoughts and feelings on a particular card and then getting other people's feedback as well. And it's like a whole community sharing their thoughts and ideas and intuition on a card. And I thought this was a great deck to do that with because there's no words. There's nothing there. I tell what I feel and then others tell what they feel. And hold on just a second. Okay. I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Not that you were aware. I'm um, going to have to brighten it up because it's getting dark. Um, I had to go grab my phone. Um, but I heard, kept hearing a uh, silver tongue double. Um, fork tongue, bated breath. And as I was saying, um, and when I posted it on Facebook and Instagram, I got quite a bit of feedback that was the same. That was like, yeah, I totally see that someone is going to um, lie to you today or something like that. I can let me pull it up here. That's why I actually got my phone. Um, someone put, I got, watch what you, how you say things. Don't speak too much. Betrayed. Um, someone else put, I see it as a warning that some, someone or something is taking your energy or sucking the energy out of your space. Protect yourself, especially if you are feeling drained, low-level activity. Someone else put, I see someone spitting lies to be someone they are not. They also seem very sad about it. They don't want to do this, but they feel they have, have to be in order to fit in. And I was like, these are all cool. You know, I really, I really feel that they're saying this. However, when I pull a card of the day, I pull it as a general. I'm like... 
you know, spirit can come down, angels, guides, God, whoever can come down and give me a message. I'm open to anyone giving a message um, with this with my morning pulls. And so <laughs> I was like, these are cool. And because I wasn't going anywhere yesterday, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't really talking to anybody. I'm like, obviously it doesn't apply to me. Um, it applies to someone else. And then several hours later, this happened to me. Um, I wound up in a conversation with someone very close to me. Um, probably one of the very few people on the planet that could cause me physical pain just by talking to them uh, with what they say. Um, and in the moment, um, I was on the phone with this person for a couple hours. Um, it was a whole drawn out thing and I'm not going to go into detail because it's personal and private. But by the end of it, I was heartbroken for the first time in years. It was at a, I was at a point where I was like, how many more heartbreaks can one person take in one lifetime? Um, I felt like I was at lost. I was done. I was like, I, I'm just, I'm ready to be done. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm so tired uh, of getting my heart broken repeatedly and it was all based on the words they said to me <laughs> there was a moment a couple moments there of self-pity it was like i i can't take anymore i can't physically do this anymore because i'm so mentally drained i'm so physically drained i'm emotionally drained i was literally drained of everything i had in me when i got off the phone with this person and I still love this person. Um, they are a part of my heart. And um, it's a very profound conversation. Um, it opened my eyes to a lot of things. Um, there was a few lies caught in there um, that I caught in the conversation. And it just, it, it changed my perspective of this person. Um, and made me realize I have to shelter my heart more. I have to shelter my energy more around this person. Um, because as much as I love them and care for them, um, they have the capability. Um, like I said, they're one of the few people in the world that has the capability to literally feel like they're killing me. And... I learned a long time ago about self-preservation and I never thought I would have to be that way around this person, but I now have to, um, because if you don't sell preservation, it can be very bad. It can, it can do horrible things to your psyche. And I, because I've been there, um, and I just feel like last night it all came to a head because I felt like I've been pounded on and pounded on and pounded on so many times in my life that it was like, what else can happen? What next? And so I'm sitting there kind of wallowing a little bit and I sat on the couch and then I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to wallow. For the first time in my life, um, I chose to change how I react to things. Um, instead of going down a rabbit hole and just being depressed and crazy for the next God knows how long it would take me to climb out of this hole, I chose to sit there and kind of do a little meditative breathing and just kind of let it go. Um, and then I looked over at the soul cards and this was laying on top. And I got full body chills because this card was so chillingly accurate that, and I had m worded it exactly how everything went down. And I was just like, whoa, my whole mind just was blown <laughs> when I realized several hours, maybe eight or nine hours after this card was pulled, 
the exact situation that I, this card was warning me about happened. And I'm like, it's profound moments like that where you know these cards work. You know their spirit speaking through you. It's in those moments you know for a fact, without a doubt, you have some kind of capability to speak with someone that's not here physically. Um, and I just found it very profound. <laughs> um, and it actually put a smile on my face. And then I was like, you know what? I need a little love. So I pulled a card from immediately after I saw this and was like, <laughs> mind shatter blown, exploding. Um, I pulled a card from the Don Miguel Ruiz for agreements because I needed a little pick me up. I needed, I needed a little love from the universe spirit. And I pulled, you'll never guess, <laughs> Uh, the agreement that I pull, because this is four different agreements, um, there's the cards are split up into four different agreements. One is, uh, I'm not going to read one. Two is don't take anything personally. Three is don't make any assumptions. And four, always do your best. But the number one agreement, and that's the one I pulled, is be impeccable with your words. And I was like, words words this is crazy and it just put a huge smile on my face and I was knocked out um it was just out of the park crazy um and then it says enjoy heaven on earth that's the card I pulled and then the back says impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom success and abundance you can attain the kingdom of heaven from this one agreement. Be impeccable with your word. And I realized I had been, for the most part, impeccable with my words during my conversation I had. However, this person was not. Um, this was the person. Um, and I totally felt when I pulled this yesterday morning, this was a full-on warning to someone. I just didn't realize it was going to be to me. Um, and then this is a reminder to be impeccable with your words. Speak your truth. Because once you speak your truth, nobody can deny that. Um, nobody can say, hey, you're lying or anything like that. When you speak from your heart, your truth. And I think that's part of why I wanted to do this video is because we all have people in our life that have the capability to rip us to shreds. Um, whether they mean to or not, they have that capability. We all, we can say we don't, we all have at least one person in our life, our kids, our spouse, our parents, our grandparents, our uncles, our aunts, someone in our life that can literally, with just words they speak, kill you. And um, this is very enlightening for me because for the first time I didn't let it. I didn't let it take me down the rabbit hole that I always go down. Um, it was a very profound um, moment. And I asked Spirit to help me sleep after that because I couldn't sleep. Um, and I went right to sleep after I pulled the four agreements card as a reminder to be impeccable with your words. No matter what, speak your truth, be your true authentic self. And nobody can take that away from you. And only if you let them. But if you're always speaking your truth, nobody can take that away from you. And that was um, my experience. Um, I wanted to share with you guys. It was very profound. It was literally the first card I ever actually pulled with this deck. I feel so connected to this deck now. Um, it's crazy. Um, and I can't wait to buy soul cards too now. For real, buy it. Like, this is uh, amazing. It was uh, beyond anything that I've 
yet experienced during reading tarot or oracle cards. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. If you've had any experiences with tarot oracle uh, cards like this, that are just like mind exploding crazy, I would love to hear the story. Please comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, um, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you are notified of any future videos and you're not missing out on them. And I just want to thank you all for listening and you guys have a great evening. Bye.